the worst of Nico uh, montage. I I sort of feel the you same think, way. I'm you not think gonna, you're going to be in the worst of Nico. Yeah, I don't have I think, the juice for this one I either. Think, yeah, I think you're going to throw me a segment, and I'm just going to go. Uh, stuff happened. <laughs> I'm well, scared. this okay. So the problem is that this episode really is a stuff happened episode. <laughs> it is. Exterior, you know. Also, like I've, I've been feeling kind of like allergy, like kind of stinky. Same here. You know, like <laughs> I, like I popped an Allegra. Like oh, earlier. we got Allegra Joe, but everybody, uh, welcome to Smack Up. Oh my God! <laughs> Whoa, we got Allegra Allegra Joe and Hatman Pete. That's right. <laughs> Get those histamines away from me. <laughs> Look at those histamines in me, bro. Please. They're flying away. I see them. Bye bye. Oh. Good thing they left. They were scared of the Miz, our resident white boy. Are the histamines yeah. still in the room with us hey. now? Dude, yes. those frosted tips are the epitome of white. Miz For is, real. Is, is very excited to be our host again, but he's not. He's not there by himself. He's not alone. Who's he with? Oh my. Nico, tell yes. me who's he with. Who's he with? Yeah, Miz was hosting with somebody else. It's Ashley. It, it, is it? Was it really Ashley? It's Ashley. She's here. <laughs> wow. I thought she came last week. I nope. didn't even realize that either. Uh, talk right, let talk me about tell highlights. You. All right, let me tell you something, everyone. When I first watched this, I had to double check the date because I this was I thought this we already watched this. No, nope. this was from last week. Me and Nico We're discussed in... this earlier, but yeah, the the Miz kicking off the show again really really had me scared for a moment. Yeah, and, and not only that, unlike last week, this is the last time I think we see him. Is it? I, I hope not. Sure, I hope we. That's see very that's a very ominous sign for the Miz. Yeah, it's yeah. a strange thing to say. Yeah, but you know who's really hosting this show, and it ain't Miz. It ain't Ashley. Do you know who's really? Host in the show. Who? John Bradshaw Layfield. Ding 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 That's ding, right, ding folks. Ding. It is a market assets provider, JBL. Hola, amigos. Hola. Muchachos. Amigos. I don't know if that has right? 10 gallons. <laughs> Am I don't machismo? You got machismo? Dude, he's doing a little dance. He is so happy. Dude, he is talking and talking. And talking and with his whisper accent, he gets there and he gets to the ring, and and then and then he gets pissed, bro. He gets so mad, and you're like, "What the hell just happened?" And it's who's that jumping out this guy? Except it's not that song, but you know, yeah, you know, it yeah, should yeah. be that song. The song is better. It is. It should be. And then you see they cut to the crowd, and you see a Mexican flag, and he gets even more mad. Dude, yeah, you're just... <laughs> But guys, just overall built 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 up to kill JBL moment. As we said on ECW One Night Stand, check it out. Check out that episode as well. Uh, it's not the World check Heavyweight Champion first anymore. Of ECW. Yeah, yeah, that just came out Sunday. Sweet. Uh, yeah, they call he's the World Champion now. Yeah. Oh, because he's not a heavyweight. They, they, took, voice. they took the heavyweight out of him. Mm-hmm. So they decided yes. he's done fighting big, big, strong boys. He's gonna fight the cruiserweight champion in a champion versus champion match. Yep. I, I will say this Gregory is where we're at now. I will say at least he still was a champion. Like yeah, you know, this, this it was been something close. here, he and it was fought. an. A- I'm sorry, but it was, yeah, it was an actual match. I'm just so excited. Our yeah. champion got two in a row. Yeah, he got like. Wait, a what do you mean match. two in a row? He, I think he won last week. He did. Well, he. Yeah, but like he didn't no, win this one yet. No, he did. He did. He fight win. I uh, know he lost to Finley. I thought. Oh yeah, he did. But he no, didn't no. lose to Sabu. Yeah. yeah, he didn't lose to Sabu. Kinda, but he also didn't win. Yeah, but he didn't lose. <laughs> this yeah. is his first win in a while. Bobby, <laughs> our champ. We'll take. We'll take. Look, we'll take, I'm, we'll take I'm considering a not loss as a win. Fair enough. Look, Ty. Ty yes. You, you gotta remember, any non losses is a win for Ray Mysterio. True. Please. Right now, absolutely for this reign, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And- I love how they're selling the damage him and Sabu have with the tape. Yeah. I also want to say, like, when this is completely random, but Greg, Gregory Helms coming to the ring, and then they put the little box in the corner of him talking <laughs> shit. Very that was inspired. so weird. I, I loved that. The fucking the Zordon yeah. close-up camera, little box but guy like, up in the top. 
this did he look like Justin Long to you guys or a was little that just bit? Me? And he's like, I yeah, don't like, need like, no like, superpowers to win. Yeah. Yep. All right. If he didn't break his nose five times, he might have looked a little more like Justin Long. Yeah. He could be accepted. He could. He can be in the Justin Long impersonators club. He could be Tusk. Yeah, he looked like up there that little that little box that little device. He looks like he's creeping on uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, like he's Doctor Eggman with some sort of monitor device. <laughs> this, it, this is like a like a overdeveloped uh, like video game UI. You know, like I, I see the that. XP, I see the XP progression bar at the bottom. I see the health, the shield, the ammo counter. I see it all. Gregory Helms is here to tell me about how late Epic. Something I thought it was so funny during Ray's entrance. He throws Thanks. his fucking uh, visor out as soon as it comes up. Just throws it at the guy in the crowd. And I was like, holy shit. Oh, my. Ray. Yeah, he had the visor. Ray, Come why on, are you man. doing you that? You can't bring that around. He's like, fuck this hat. This is bullshit. I'm done with this. It was nuts. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, visor. I hope you don't come back. But yeah, this match does. was This match was fine. I don't know. I really don't. I can't be like, oh, it was so bad. Gregory Helms is just such a mid wrestler that he makes everyone have a mid match. But it wasn't. He hits a mean swinging neck breaker. Yeah, he hits a good. He gets a very good one. I I will say. You know what? I'm gonna say this match was a bad match. Okay. Oh. This this is a bad match. This is a poorly booked and poorly thought out match. If only for the reason that uh, we now have to live in a world. Where our world champion, not world heavyweight champion, oh, yeah, you're but right. our world champion almost fucking lost to the cruiserweight champion. He struggled, man. What type of shit is this, dude? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll give him a little credit. I think they really wanted to push that he was injured in the Sabu match. It's so oh, weird, that, that's that's why the power scale was down? That's why Gertrude yeah. Helms had a chance? I, I think yeah, but... that's the story they were trying to tell. But the problem is, this is how Rey Mysterio has fought almost every championship match. Yep. Well, he's getting squashed every match. Why should I believe this one's any different? Well, it, yeah, that's the problem. He just keeps getting squashed, so this story doesn't even work. Because there's no fucking uh, psychology if he does this in uh, every fucking match. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, this is bad. Like, we could run down moves and stuff, but the saying I... is... Shit. I don't give a shit about the movesets. This JBL match. This was just purely a bad match. Couldn't stop saying machismo on commentary. I think he said it. What Joe, you wrote six times. I uh, yeah, I noted. J- he could have said it a million times, and it might have just slipped past my like psyche, because I I hear JBL and I'm thinking, oh yeah, machismo is coming up. I I definitely pointed out six machismos, seven if you count Michael Cole laughing and then saying machismo back to JBL, but. I, well, I think Locked we've got for six of them. Yeah. I think we're in hell yeah. right now, Joe. Uh, for the listeners at home, as we're editing the episodes that are coming out currently, we're also re-watching the episodes to make a thumbnail and also hearing Machismo. And so we go to our current product, it's Machismo. We go back, it's Machismo. We're stuck, and we can't we can't get out of it. I don't machismo know what, we, zone, what we'll can we you. do. What can we really I'm, do? I'm feeling like I'm in the Let's Machismo go. coffin like Mark Henry. Let's it's go true. back to 92 and listen to Razor Ramon say Dude. machismo. <laughs> Eddie. Better. Eddie, Eddie chants uh, keep happening the whole uh, time. Ray Ray yeah. has become Eddie's ghost at this point, and it's very bizarre. Like, the crowd does not care about Ray. They just care about Eddie. This is, this is yeah. what Vince wanted. Uh, I, Which, I, don't, I don't understand it. Um, it, it, I, I, I don't know. Ray was like, uh, yeah, no, it's not important it's on the show. JBL, uh, again, look, now he's the color commentator for SmackDown. Now that Taz has gone to ECW. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, he just won't stop talking. JBL's, uh, for the, throughout the entire show, will be a common theme is uh, this is basically the, oh, what did JBL just say show? Because he doesn't stop cutting a promo for two hours. In his whispering godly voice like which this wor- yeah. which gets worse at the end and I think it's because he's not used to the, like the commentator mic so he's like trying to do his promos quietly but it's like dude they gave this man no training they just told him go commentate I guess they said he was so good uh, being a guest commentator 
during the Ray matches where he said nothing but machismo, and they said, wait, this guy's got it. Yeah, well, like, to back off the philosophy uh, of this match not working because Rey Mysterio is the top champion but is not respected and is fighting the bottom champion of the show who nobody cares about. Mm-hmm. And then the, the first match of that is commentated by the guy he just ended a feud with that has completely dog walked him for the past yep. two months. Yep. Just what are we doing? Out embarrassed his ass repeatedly. Yeah. And and Gregory Helm fashion, let's end this match. He goes for a shining wizard, sees that Ray I guess he wasn't out of position. I don't know what happened. Gregory Helms goes, I'm gonna hit him with the shining wait a minute. Alright, let me go back off the ropes. And then he tries to and just fucking whiffs it immediately. I know that was he was supposed to miss, but like why did he hesitate? So hard. He doesn't want to harm his little friend. So he falls over, gets put into the six one nine, and I, <laughs> dude, I lost my mind because I thought, okay, Ray's gonna hit him with like dropping the dime, like with a or a leg drop, and no, he just fucking famousers him, <laughs> like a springboard famouser for the pin. Crazy. It was sick, sick ending, a pretty mediocre match. Uh, our champion has no plot development or movement throughout the show. And this is the last we'll see of him. I, I, yep. As my as my uh, performance on ECW, did, did he did he not show up again? I don't think he did. Okay. Okay. So he I'm was not gonna, done, I'm not gonna get dreamer. No. Okay. No, he was done for the rest of the night. Yeah. Well, he went for the top rope famouser because earlier in the match, Gregory Helms had countered Ray's other two attempts at going for his usual oh, West okay. Coast pop. Yep. So I think the famouser was just like, all right, come on, whatever. That's sick. It was a valid yeah. mix-up to finish the match. Yeah, JBL stands up in a heat of anger and throws his cowboy hat toward Rey Mysterio, who's up on the turnbuckle, you know, holding up his championship belt. And staring and... down JBL for some reason still. Yeah, he's like he's pointing, he's laughing. JBL's all sweaty and red, and Michael Cole's like, you have to sit down or you're going to get fired again. He did say that, <laughs> yeah. So, wow. I... I, I... Yeah, I will say, this segment especially, if you watch this episode, like, this is exactly how, like, time slots for champions really does affect the show. Like, you can't just put on the championship match at the beginning of the show like Front loads it very hard. Yeah, it just fronts loaded. It's very hard. Not only that, this was the best match of the night, and this was from fine to bad. I don't right? agree, but, but well, go on. I I, I can't even think. Like, there probably was a squash match that was better, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like I. But the thing is, I can't hold that into my mind. But like, you know, for our, uh, more technical folks, this was like the better match of the night. It, it doesn't get any better technically from here. True. Like, I, 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 again, I know, go back modern. I, I really appreciate how, like, on Raw when Cody Rhodes was there, they gave him the 9 o'clock time slot, and he'd always have the main event match, usually. So, like, those times matter when you book a champion, and this is one of the things that's not getting Ray over. He, he is either... You mean in, Eddie? He, no, because Eddie. Eddie would actually get over. No, that's Eddie. The crowd says Eddie. Yeah, they say Eddie. Ah, but... uh, Eddie, ah. Uh... Uh, yeah, but Eddie's getting over. Ray's not. Yeah. that That's my point. It's like, you know, and it's because most of these episodes, he's either been in the beginning or the middle of the card. And or getting squashed moon, him... in the main event. Yeah. Or getting squashed in the main event. Like, this timing matters, and this is purposefully, I wish Eddie wasn't dead so I didn't have to give it to this little guy. It's like, it just makes a bad show. So, uh, fuck this match. <laughs> Match number two, we got King Booker, and uh, he's coming out. He's all dressed up in his kingly outfit, and JBL, and I swear to God, won't stop coming. And I, I'm sorry for all the fans out there that don't want the profane language. Listen, this are there, man are was there coming. Fans out there that don't want profane language. I don't know. I don't. Know. I mean, can can you fucking blame him? He won't I mean, shut up Charmelle about how was hot looking Booker foin. is and how hot oh, yeah. Charmel is. He's like, that is my queen. She is voluptuous, gorgeous. Uh, I say tell him. And, tell, tell him, JBL. Michael Cole's it, like, are I, you serious, dude? 
fuck? Dude, I, don't know. I, I, I I'll say this doesn't go there. This, this was the best fucking uh, JBL line of the whole thing for me. When the fucking pyro goes off as Shamal takes a bow and he's like, he's so humble. <laughs> I died. <laughs> like that. That was his best fucking call. Yeah, of the you're, night. you're right. Like, but dude, I mean, you can't blame the man for coming. The man appreciates, you know, a beautiful lady. Okay, Fair enough. and that's, you know, and you know what, like Shamal. Yeah, she's up there. So I think it's well deserved. I think saying otherwise is rude. Fair enough. And please don't do. It. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Queen. I would be just about as humble as a uh, King Booker here in this instance. So now, humble. hear me out. What if, so I was... I, if I was in that setup? So humble, in fact, JBL said that uh, Queen Sheba is a stripper compared to to Charmel. <laughs> Which was another. <laughs> I'll say he did have some zingos. Like he wanted to shut up, but. It's kind of like... He, he cooked like, heavy. Yeah. He, he cooked too heavy, but there were a few dishes that he hit just right. Uh, Bobby Lashley's coming out, and he is uh, looking good as the U.S. champ. I like it. He looks oh, really yeah. nice. Oh, He's looking wet, wait bro. a minute. Wait a minute. Here comes Finley and Regal. The white boys are here, and they are going to kill Lashley, and they start beating the shit out of him. And Booker joins in, and they're given a triple team. And, dude, I, like, looked away for five seconds, and I saw that, like, Finley hit him. I was like, damn, that sucks. And then they showed the replay, and I laughed really hard because he, like, hit him on the inner thigh. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I thought he hit him in the dick sucks. for a second. I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I guess Poor Bobby. still fucking hurts real bad. Yeah. And uh, Bobby's got some friends in the back, right? Who's going to who's gonna come out and save him? Can anyone tell me who's going to save Mr. Oh, Bobby Lashley. Oh, well, well, surely it's going to be uh, the build White match. Boy one and one boy two. <laughs> from, from before this was supposed to start. Uh, Gunner, Poopy Pants, Scott, and uh, Matt, uh, Loaded Diaper, Hardy. Dude, how how do we get the diaper gang out here, dude? How do we do this? Dude, they had to call him up. They're like, Gunner, we need you. And he's like, oh, one second. Oh, okay. And then he just didn't wipe. He got up and <laughs> got up and left. Chris Benoit was was really shaking him down back there before he came out to the ring. Chris Benoit has not been seen for weeks. I hope he's okay. Oh, Mark Henry killed him. Mm. He won't be. His ribs, ah. Uh, uh, I mean, it's okay. Bro, Bobby, Bobby's knee is taking irreparable damage at this point. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, not coming back from this one. Do we do we no. get him backstage, or is that later? No, they That's do later. it immediately. Later. Okay. Is it? Mean? Yeah, they do. Yeah, so, they like, do, after commercial... Uh, Bobby immediately backstage with the doctor. Yeah. I thought that it would have been better suited. Like, honestly, I like the angle. I like that Finley came out and busted him up because yeah. Booker, Bobby's been so dominant towards Booker and kind of like even the playing field a little bit. But no, Bobby's too strong. He says, fuck this. I'm going to fight tonight. I don't care. I'm going to kill Booker. And the doc's the like, Greg no, Jennings he's like, no, no, you back, can't though. do this. Your, your knee. And I'm like, his knee, he did not get hit in the knee at all. He got hit in the thigh. Got a broken fucking leg. Ah, oh, my knee. He's like, I'm good, man. Like, so he's not Ray. Ray would be like, ah. That's ah, because. Eddie, my knee. Ah. My knee. My surgical repaired that's, knee. Bobby gets back out there. Bobby Lashley is the world that's, champion. Yeah, that is our world champion. <laughs> he's yeah. our U.S. champ. He's our main eventer. For real. Dude. Well, yeah. here, no, that's why, because of the world, who cares? Yeah, he's our U.S. But the champ. United States, oh, baby, Clear. now we're large. talking. Yeah, you we know? Large. Man, you know, like, we had, who who was our champs this year? We had uh, Batista, our guy, our legend. We barely got to see him. Yeah, and I then, didn't get to see him. And then what? And then what do we get? Fucking redacted? Like, who cares? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Huh? And now, now oh, right. You mean, you mean yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't talk about extreme on this show. We don't, we don't talk about the extreme baldness. Yeah, we don't talk extreme. He, he left us. Extremely bald, extremely oh, hardcore. Right, right, right. My right. guy. <laughs> I'll fight for him to the end. Uh, And then we're on match three of the night. Well, technically match Which two. Is Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy coming out and dropping and, a promo. And who, who did he fight? Which it's Nick, it's did he kill? Nick, it's Nick Burke. Burke. He's back. Nick Burke is back oh, wow. from, like, what, episode one, episode two? <laughs> he was, like, on Raw. 
as a triumphant nice return. Hey man, I think he was he in the does area. Get destroyed by Umaga at some point as well. Oh, you get we get a three piece Nick Burke combo. Former CZW champion. Oh baby, he's got the goofiest fighting stance you could ever imagine. <laughs> he's good. His idol dude. animation looks dumb as hell. Um, is Mr. Kendi okay, dude? Like he looks not good. I'd say he's looking hefty. You he's know? looking pretty big. Not looking great. Which is looking weird. Firm. Yeah, he's a little meaty. Cause he's like... looking. He's giving kind of RFK energy right here. Yeah, well, you RFK know he's Jr. he's, he's oh, from no. Wisconsin. You know he loaded up on the cheese curds. Yeah, like most wrestlers when they like, you know, come back, they or maybe they're looking juice juiced up. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because like they actually have time to like rest and like work out, work out properly. Because yeah, it's hot on the road. Like you have to. Yeah. You they still work out a lot, but it's like they eat the bad. Yeah. Hold he up. didn't have to eat a, a, a White Castle ten pack. I'm gonna have to hard yeah. stop this. Uh, I'm gonna have to hard stop this. I'm sorry, Nico. I need a uh, editor Ty. Can you pull up a, a highlight reel of the Burkaset move that Nick Burke does? Show him two times speed, please. All right, sick. Thank you. Burkaset. Yeah, that's his finishing Molly move. Burkaset. It's a Burkaset. <laughs> Burkaset. <laughs> Molly Burkaset. Anyways, uh, not everyone's Bobby Lashley who can eat whatever he wants and he still looks fucking chiseled. Yeah, Bobby like, Lashley's a freak. Yeah, oh I still will never forgive uh, that disgusting man, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, for not letting Bobby uh, gain 80 pounds of fat and then have a training arc on live TV to that lose it all again. That would have been so that good, been, dude. That, might, that would have been program of the century, I think. Dude, I think that would have I, been the best thing ever produced for wrestling television. Dude, I, I feel like like you couldn't get him fat though. He'd just get bigger muscles and he'd just be fucking giant. If you yeah. let Bob if you let big Bobby Lashley carb up, I, he, he could do it. Because he's got he's got the determination, he's got the will of fire. Yeah. He could carb, look, he he could gain weight and the hard part would be really like he's gotta have that dog in him to to lose it though. That yeah. like he was seeking a new challenge there, and he was denied his challenge. And that's fucked up. Yeah, I, I yeah like, 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 what is he gonna do? Not bench press seven fifty? There, I, I don't know. I just feel like his. We might like, imagine, like he could have been, he could have been world's strongest man arc for a moment. He could have. Oh, I would have loved that. Now you got me acting strange because I want that. What about Mr. Kennedy though? No, I. What I about him, bro? Us. Dude, yeah. he's got. Mr. Kennedy. And he comes out here and kills Nick Burke, and then, and then what's it? You, you get an announcement. Yeah, he he won. Good job. All right, what, whatever. What, yeah. Stupid ass he, he shoulder does, t- tattoo. Fuck him, dude. He does stare down Tommy Chimmel to make sure that he calls the the winner, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. It's like a three minute squash, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. It, it, it's supposed to get him over so he can do his entrance. He can do Mr. Kennedy. And everyone and can leaves. see, yeah. But, yeah. like, for real, Ty, can you pull up another, like, per- Berkaset, please? Because that, that move is fucking bizarre and weird. Look at that. Can Editor Ty, instead of that, can you pull up Queen Charmel? Thank you. Why was she? Yeah, oh, just, my God. She's, she blocked it. pictures of Queen Charmel on the pod. Yeah. Wait, why'd you oh. pull up Coding? Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's redacted. No. Come on. Redacted. Ah. What the uh, hell, man? <laughs> yeah, that match was a uh, really bad for enhancement shit. It's like up there with like the worst squashes of the year. Does okay? I'm very uninformed on the very early uh, WWE run of a one Mister Kennedy Kennedy. Has his grounded finisher always been a swinging neck breaker stunner? I don't remember. I thought he used to have like a like a swanton bomb or because I know I know he does the, the I know fuck. he does the the kenton bomb. Yeah, yeah. But, but I guess he, but he this has... was his finisher for beating Nick uh, Nick Berkaset. I dude, I have no idea. Uh, I I'm guessing it's at least his like not if not his finisher, at least one of his signatures. Sure. Uh, Probably uh, sets him up and then he can go I'm, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna interrupt and say we're discussing Mr. Kennedy too much. This is a man who's on the talent level of Chris Masters. He doesn't deserve this. But here's the <laughs> no, hold on. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, guys. This guy's been uh, vignetted for like ten weeks at this point with a, a really shitty like. Yeah, but his vignettes is suck. It, is it exactly. like a, like Kelly? Roll call? 
after school? Kelly, yeah. Cooler, Kennedy, huh? Kennedy, Kennedy, <laughs> this is fucking screams at you. This is so dog shit. It's dumb as hell. This guy sucks. Dude. I never want to see him on TV again. I will, no. though. I know. He... Dude, he's... No, and you know what? No, I can't say that, because I watch Chris Masters. Probably the... for a very long time. Chris Masters is boring and bad. I think Kennedy's was. Yeah, Chris Masters at least got some some boobies, bro. That shit's jiggling. Yeah. I think... Yeah, and he, he's got the nice Master Lock challenge, and he... Like his matches aren't anywhere near good. Or his pack and should... chest heat. Hold on, on. wait but... a minute. Nico, I know you're saying something. I'm sorry, but he won best gimmick by the Wrestling Observer newsletter in 2005. Who did? Mr. Kennedy? Mr. Kennedy. Well, all maybe... right. that's 05. I'm seeing what him in 05. What was he doing in 05? Yeah, what was he doing know, in 05? Right? Well, the mic. They gave him the pomp and circumstance with the mic. But what oh, was he doing know. in 05? Yeah. We need answers. I don't know. Uh,. Who cares? And was this the close voting? <laughs> Clearly or, Big like, Dave does, voting? dude. I don't know. Uh, again, Honestly, who cares enough to tell us about Big who Dave? Who cares? Honest... They have like, they have two voting sections. Is the close voting where only the I'm not sure. Whatever whatever Guys, Wikipedia article says that he got best gimmick in 05. Guys, I'm going to say it again, and I want you all to say it with me. Who cares? Well, he, he doesn't no, tie it. Tie cast <laughs> so here's the thing. curse on us with this one, and I'm not forgiving him for it. No, hold on. For, You're pulling like, up live WAN results. I'm gonna kill you. No, hold yeah. on. Like WAN results are different than the the. That's all voted on. So people actually thought that <laughs> best gimmick voted on by who? People who the people give Dave money. money. Yeah. It's so a, they agree with him. Yes. Is the marks who give so, Dave money? Awesome. Wait, it, it is. So it was the marks, not the inside of vote. Yes. Okay. It still doesn't make sense. So who cares? Fucking Mox are dumb. They love Mr. Kennedy. He's such a big draw, dude. Money, you dumb motherfuckers. As uh, can we can we show like a little slow cut of Mr. Kennedy like chewing gum and eating it off the floor and spitting on people and showing up with the juniors, just like a little like preview of everything to come to this shit match. <laughs> No, no. A Mr. Kennedy promo, but it's just the Twin Peaks music in the background. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get past that. Hey, the Mexicals are here. Yeah, thank you. Oh wait, no, there was a there was a was segment there in between that was what? talking about Raw. You know. Now let's. Oh, give me the Raw rebound. Tell me about it. It's uh, about the Kiss My Ass Club. Vince McMahon is talking about how disrespected he is about the fact that like. Uh, Triple H interrupted the big ceremony, and you just see you just see Vince McMahon pop an ass on the screen for you. Sounds about right. With the like death uh, death note song playing, like dee -dee -dee, yeah. with the heavy also, like light piano. Also, he's wearing like a fucking tight ass thong. Like you could just see bare ass, which is like per huge for the yeah. Kiss My Ass Club. But yeah, like I said, everything times. that you see Vince do is under a new lens now. So yeah, I think he had allegations at this time too. This whole time, like in February, I was listening to an old Brian and Vinny. Hello, hi. We're not them, Jesus. I promise. And they they said that there was allegations of Vince doing something in February. So that's crazy. What he can talking? he can't he can't just stop. We literally took this script for this episode. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we're, Sometimes we're hacks. You just copy their work a little. We're bit. hacks, dude. What can you do? We're hacks. Which is okay. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mean? fuck Raw. No, Brian and Vinny from 2006 are copying off of us because we're recording this in 2006 before whatever yeah. their stupid, dumb cell phone show is called. Their, uh, <laughs> what is the, the RSS feed, Garbage, MySpace, yeah, uh, true. Kip Tunes, Kip whatever Tunes. else dumb, whatever dig dumb garbage dig. they upload to. Yeah, dig, dude. You gotta dig They copied it. off yeah. of us. Yeah, no, the copy is fuck them. But speaking of fucked, yeah. let's talk about the Mexicals. How could Psychosis do this to his boy Super Crazy? Also, Super well, Crazy's not ECW anymore. I don't know. Uh, fucking he Super Crazy up. was, yeah. Super Crazy was kind of like, hey, you're gonna have my back, right? And it, which is weird. I, I don't think Psychosis liked that too much. But do you know what we loved the most? What? The Great Kali. Oh, oh yeah. that moving graphic of him had me acting different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. and this one wasn't like super HD as well. Yeah, he was looking clean on it. Dude, yeah. I think the he was problem... squeezing real hard. His arms were imploding. 
He was crushing the universe in the palm of his hand. They could have oh, had. They could have had at least a little di- like, th- th- like you know. Oh, I can't think of the word. Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, but anyway, I think uh, Sorry, if the team was breaking what up, you, what are you trying to tell me? I was gonna say dissection. yeah. Let, let, no, no, hold on. Let's do know. let's do uh, phonetics with uh, yeah. yeah. Something it's starting with a D that like breaks up yep. a team. Dichotomy. Disagreement. Like I thought, I was thinking like dissection. I don't know. Dissension. I, dissension. Dissension. Hey, yeah, we did it, guys. Go. Hey, yeah, yeah the dissension look, of the team. The dissension of the team right here. He could have just been like, "Hey, man, you ditched me last week when Gray Kali tried to kill us." Uh, uh Eddie, hey, why man. did you ditch me? Eddie? And then ah. and it's psychosis. And then psychosis could have been like, "Yeah, but you team with Tajiri on the pay per view, dude. What are you, an ECW guy now?" And then he could have yeah, been like. Could've... Yeah, but they didn't they didn't film it yet, so they didn't know like what to do with ECW one because I think they had to book it on the spot. Yeah. Okay. So... Well, it's gonna happen right after. I think the other thing is that you're asking for way too of a yeah, complex they don't care. conversation to happen between these two guys. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 Let me let me help. We love him. Because he he is the deal, right? Because he you can't just mention what happened on ECW because you know then it's not a swove. You're right. Right, and we gotta have swoves because Vince didn't learn from uh, Vince Russo about how well swoves work all the time. So, you know, True. we gotta have. So, can I can I say one thing about the Great Khali's entrance? We're not there well, yet. What? We're not there yet. Care. Hold on. No, we Nobody gotta talk about what? the penis surgery again, boys. It's penis surgery time. Oh uh, yeah, we're back. We're almost there, the, Nico. The promo, we'll come back to you. He, they they dissected his cock and balls. They're going to put it back together. The process has been complete. We're getting a vignette. He's coming back, boys, and he's going to take what's rightfully his. And so is a French guy. No, hold on. I'm very sad that our, our lovely smack-up guest, Cap, isn't here because I really wanted to hear him say, what promo with the Canadian? Because he would have <laughs> skipped it thinking it was an ad. Yep. Because <laughs> Sylvain is here, and he is promoting Quebec. Hey, guys, Sylvain, remember him? Come on. No, but like, all right, sorry, Ty. I need to, I need to roll it back. What? We gotta talk more about this Batista promo package, guys. That shit was sick. <laughs> yeah, that was tight. Sh- it was straight so up. Cool. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in Canada. Five seconds straight of power bombs, Batista yeah. bombs, and like the repeated like back and forth, showing him like do the thumbs down and shit over and over. Like, what the fuck is going? On? It was a fever dream, dude. Oh yeah. Why can't he be our champ? Where's he been? Did we get it. We also. He will be. In the okay. middle of this promo, there's like uh, when he had to relinquish the world heavy heavyweight at the time yep, championship. I know exactly what you're gonna say. Go there's off. a there's two women in the crowd like crying and going, "No, dude. no!" Just absolutely devastating. No! I hate no! to I hate the to Batista miss this. is just just sad. He's sad looking, and then we get like a like a shutter shot between yeah. him looking sad and him about to smack the ramp and go for the bop, 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 machine gun fireworks. Yep actually cracked out i love this I, batista but we, we've had a very long discussion about like who's in everybody's like top five like well before the airing or inception of this podcast uh batista is strongly in my top five all time i love him i, I didn't love think guy. i didn't think i would be there with you when we started off because you know batista's range he's sort of limited he doesn't have a lot going on but damn i'm i'm high. i want him back right now mm-hmm I have a story to tell. Uh, so I was watching this uh, episode with my mother. She came over. She came and visited. And we we're watching this little vignette. And she's like, oh, man, it's weird not seeing him bald. And I said, yeah, you know, it, it's kind of funny he's got hair. And she goes, yeah, you know, he's big in Hollywood now. And I said, yeah, yeah, he is. And she goes, hey, you know what? I haven't seen The Rock in so long. And I said, that's oh, that's fuck. not The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, to, oh, I got God. put through a oh, fucking yeah. windmill there. I was like, "Wait, what? Huh? Wait, whoa! Uh, Where am I going?" But then she was like, "Oh yeah, never mind. It's Batista. <laughs> oh Batista. Uh, oh, well, that's David, my dad. Oh my gosh, <laughs> fuck Dave, up. Dwayne. Ah, it happens. It happens. Yeah. It'd be like that, you know. But yeah, guys, I want to go to Quebec now. I'm having yeah, a feeling. Beautiful. I have a feeling it's going to be a big beautiful city of Quebec. It's going to be big news when Sylvain re-debuts again for his third gimmick this year. So, we're going to host a pod in Quebec for like his big match. Oh yeah, dude, I'm so excited for Sylvain to come back. 
We need that. We need I, some I energy in the, in the SmackDown universe. Look, that's out of I'm over it. Fantastic. What? No, dude. We got a I'm pirate. We our pirates dead, dude. Okay, we're getting there, but we need some. Where like are my just my gym boys are killed? It. What do you want me I'm to do? It. I got nothing. I don't <laughs> care what you think we want you to do. If you're a Quebecer, get out. What? Yeah. Get out. No, I'm with you, Joe. You, you don't even have the decency yeah. to be French. Yeah. Dude, oh, my you're goodness. French. You think you're French, but the French actually hate you. That's you're, not, you're not French, and you're definitely not Canadian. Dude, they're the Sicilians of Canada. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Nail them, nail them to the wall right now. So, guys, well, speaking of dissension of the team... And I was saying, like, they could have done this. They thought about it to get them new Juan Deers. Mexicals are out there with these souped-up, big lawn mowers, And Super Crazies yeah. has a, a leopard chair on it. I'm, like, half expecting Ooh. these things to start bouncing up and down. Yeah, dude, it's insane. They're huge, man. No, dude, they, they went they went big with this one. They they upgraded even further beyond the Juan Deers, dude. They got the fucking zero turns. Domain expansion beyond Juan Deere. How are you going to tease a breakup the, the and get zero this? turns, dude? These oh. things are moving. I have 360 capabilities. This is like riding a warhog. This is crazy. But yeah, Nico, tell me about Great Kelly's entrance. You were you were uh, excited about it. Yeah. Well, I, you know, maybe I didn't notice this before, but I love the shot how it goes from like the tiger to, to like, him. Oh, dude, yeah. it's so cool. It's the so fire cool. eyes, are you kidding me? Dude, and not only that, this honestly, this seems something like that they would do more in the modern day than back then. So I was just looking at this and I was like, wow, they're really ahead of their time with this fucking uh, graphic. We don't even like have good Titan Trons anymore. This is like the best. Nope. Yeah. And fucking, you know, Great Kelly comes out and they do a really good job of building this man like just through his entrance you know <clears throat> like he's spooky. a real dude he's spooky he's a killer that and like they, they've already they've made it clear that uh undertaker is afraid of him now oh yeah, yeah. the, dude, the I, rumors I are true we get a uh, jbl yeah. saying to that <laughs> whatever that promo was uh uh it was the a promo. show after judgment day what the rumors are true the undertaker has been defeated. That was a that was a promo. Oh, okay. Because uh, JBL on I, commentary said during this match that he is the new dead man. So Great Cully is the new dead man, guys. He did. He's the new phenom. He's the new phenom. Yeah, yeah. He said phenom, not dead. Man. He said yeah. dead man. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I don't I, remember I, that. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Catch I couldn't it. believe. I, I couldn't know. believe him saying he's the new dead man. Well, I was like, what? I mean, I'm not saying you're lying. No, no. Liars on the other show. I'm just saying. True. You know, I only heard Phenom. The new Phenom is sponsored by AutoZone. Oh. The Ooh. Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. We get to, we get to do Tokyo Drift? Put That's it crazy. on the list, baby. Oh my god, yes! This is huge. You want, you want and, to know what's ta fun, and tag body spray. We get to I'm still... Only seen the first two Fast and Furious. Oh, we're gonna get you in that movie, dude. We're gonna watch it. It's gonna be a good one. All right. Should be good for the pod, and we can get Vin Diesel look like just incredible on. I, I got some bad news. He's not in that one. Uh oh. He's somewhat in that one. Not really though. Uh oh. Hey, he shows up. It counts. Kind of. I knew he, that. Tune in in 2050 when we do a retrospective on the fast and furious nine. Oh, <laughs> the ma speaking of nine the match There's still more to come uh mexico is trying to beat up kali they can yeah uh super crazy is getting held up and psychosis is about to come in with the chair psychosis looks at him and you know what he thinks about he's thinking about man yeah protect myself yeah yeah look I out for numero uno here I know. I I gotta look out for myself. And he and he betrays his his good friend at, right after they got the new Juan Deers. Exactly. Just so messed up, dude. Super crazy used his ECW one night stand uh, bonus yes. check yep. for the zero turns, and then he left. That was messed up. It was so messed up, man. 
is a betrayal of the highest order, in my opinion. But absolutely, he, he, he Pelikosis was just sitting there, and he was like, "I could be watching Dragon Ball Z right now," and he just left him. <laughs> wow, that's that's that's, that's in a... general how I felt about this show. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but like this whole time, I'm like, "Damn, I wish I was watching the Cell Saga." Yeah. <laughs> this show did drag on a little longer so, than Goku charging up the spirit bomb on Namek. Why would they? At uh, least, why would they do this? At least then I would have there would be some payoff for it, right? Yeah. yeah, and that and you know Super Crazy gets fucking dropped, which is good because I hate Super Crazy. What? He's bad. Mm, mm, mm. You just don't like him because he's bad. <laughs> super tra- super super crazy. Oh, uh, super tries crazy. to go tries to go for a. Uh, like a splash, a, a, a standing splash on Kali. Kali just pushes him down to the ground. He's like, get out of here, fat boy. Get out yeah. of here, free holes. And you're not wrong. Crazy. I mean, he is fat. Come on. Super crazy sees that, and he's like, dog, I'm out. And he promptly, uh, he, he went in with a steel chair and then saw super crazy get, like, choke bombed. Mm-hmm. And then dropped the chair down gently and slid out of the ring and then went up the ramp. And he's like, I'm good. And he's gone. No yeah. chance. I, I don't want to fight a guy that turns into a, a Siberian tiger. Why would they do this to our yeah. tag division, dude? Oh, yeah, speaking uh, of it, our champs aren't even on the show tonight. They got brutalized by the great Kali last week. But the Mexico yeah. star, whatever. <laughs> but, I mean, no, no, no. They got more brutalized. Oh, okay, fair enough. Maybe they'll be on Velocity. Oh, oh no. No. Nope. Oh, God. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. What do we do? It's like that. It's gone. Oh, where are they at? They're not. Where? Oh, my there God. There are no Hulkamaniacs here, brother. Oh. Anyway, Mex Cools are dead. Possibly. Good. Uh, they never stood a chance, honestly. Miz is back. Uh, and he's excited. Dude, are you really going to pass over the great Kali's very insightful Oh promo my god, I'm so sorry. Yes, where he go says on. very eloquently, Hello, citizens of Trenton, New Jersey. My name is the great Kali. I have effectively put down your hero, The Undertaker. I am your new phenom. I am your new dead man. I got another story for you. My mother goes... Is that the guy from the birthday shout out? Hi, Joey. What's up? I said, absolutely. I said, absolutely. Put that in the damn video right it's now. It's been a while. Put it in. Go ahead. All right. Ty's, Editor Ty never put it in. Editor Ty's doing it. I'm going to make him. It's true. You Joe better. will make me. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Enjoy it. Good. Wow. Oh. Thanks, Thanks now, Kelly. Now let's, Thank, thank now you, Dalip. Now let's roll back to the... Um, the, the review we got here, the flashback moment, which is the, the bikini contest of sorts where everybody's arguing over each other's physique. You got Jillian. You got, uh, what the fuck is her name? The announcer lady. She was the interviewer. What was her name? Ashley. No. Jillian. Crystal. Crystal, Crystal Marshall. And then who else was there? Uh, Michelle, Michelle Nicole. Nicole shows up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And they, uh, they're just doing a flashback for us. Ty, what does your mom think of that? Uh, she wasn't. She was not looking or caring. What was she doing? You got off easy this time. I, I swear yeah. to you, I was like, oh no. I don't think yeah. she'd care though. To be fair, <laughs> because I was just like, yeah, you know, Ashley died, and she's like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, Ashley. Well, Ashley was. I stun locked her. Moment. I stun locked her, and I was like, oh yeah, you know that other girl? That's uh, Michelle McCool. That she's married to Undertaker. She's like, oh my god, for real? And she goes, wow. wait a minute. <laughs> Undertaker's very old compared to her. I said, yeah. 15 yep. years, I think. And then Just... and then after that little flashback, we come back to the Miz hosting the show, and it's it's him and him gassing up Ashley. Yeah, which, to... by the way, I just want to say, Ty incorrectly stated she was co-hosting the show at the beginning of this Was show. I? Oh, she was no. Here. She was here. Dude, Let I swear. You. I fact check this. You can't fact check me. Okay. Oh my god! No, you can't do, do not this to fact me. Check them. Don't even try it. It's not even. Do not fact well, check. I my apologize. Client. I I guess I'm off my game. My brain just decided to morph everything into one segment today. Yeah, that's I, fine. I can tell you right now. If you're listening, you should go to Twitter, 
get this clip of Miz like air motor boating Ashley and just constantly spam it to him and yeah. you will be rewarded. Miz loves this fucking promo. <laughs> this is Miz's promo. I've heard this. I heard I heard Maurice loves it even more. Yeah, yeah send it to me. It's go, go ahead and be violent and dastardly yeah. to people on Twitter. I'm going to have to say, you don't have to do this. We, is not support any of this <laughs> for legal reasons. We, we here at You Don't Have to Do This believe in a form of light cyberbullying. It's true. <laughs> Sir, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> deny this. <laughs> you were like, boom, 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 <laughs> like, I, like, look, he did that. We don't, we don't have to, we don't have to even bully him about it. But he, ch- he did that. Yeah, you know? like I don't know if he chose to do it, but he did that. It's true. We have, so please go ahead and light cyber bully anybody you feel like you need to. Oh a goodness, gross character. <laughs> and we love characters, yep. right? Yep. We're not on USA, Mis- guys. Char- wrong, Mis- wrong show. whoever you have to in order to get your point across is what I say. But oh my. what we don't love. Is this tag match? Yeah. So true, so true. <laughs> and here come and here come Matt Hardy and Gunner Scott. And just like their hero Ice Spice, they are Miss Poopy. Like they need a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> the diaper gang is here. Hardy and Scott. They can't. They they're just shitting their pants walking down the ring. And then we got uh, what is what does Michael Cole call him? The King's Court, as he likes yeah, to the say. Yeah, the King's Court, effectively. Regal yeah. and Finley are here, and uh, again, I'm gonna have to bring Big Dave into this, guys, because you guys said this 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 show sucked. You gave this match mm-hmm. a three and a quarter star. Who cares? You dun, love dun, 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 you love dun, Dave, dude. Bum, 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 you bum, bum. love this guy, and I just thought I, I would can let you know. Fuck an outdated star system. Three and a quarter, bam, bam. baby. That's what it's all about. Don't all make me hit the she wee wee button. She wee wee. Goodness gracious. <laughs> look, look. If I if I wanted the opinion of some autistic guy, I would listen to our podcast. You got me, dude. Oh, it's all about me. <laughs> look, we're all autists. Let's not even let's not even lie. That's why they love we're, us. We're doing a podcast about 2006 WWE. You, you got to be on the spectrum. It's true. All right, Big Big Dave gave this three and a half stars. He got three and, three and a half a minutes. Three and a quarter. That. Three and a quarter. Right, you, I got, don't... You, you got even less than what I said. Here, then. here, here. Do you, you want me to justify seconds. it? You want me to justify it? This match fucking sucked, dude. I'm going to tell you that right, right now. But you but think, there was really you... funny moments in the match I could talk about. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Tell, tell me about the funny moments. Okay, so Matt Hardy was fumbling around outside. He was uh, getting Finley, and he's like, ha-ha. I got rid of your shillelagh, and then little bastard comes out of the ring and just kills Hardy's penis. Yeah, pounds and not only those. did he get hit in the penis, Regal was on it and just dove and kneed him in the back of the head. It was sick, dude. It was cool. Hey. Pulled a sick one on him. Otherwise, I can't stand Gunner Scott. Get this man off my screen. I'm sorry I ever guessed this man. Here. You don't like discount redacted? I don't like man who can't really <laughs> go in the ring. I'm sorry. He sucks, dude. He can, he can go in the ring. He can. He's go trying to do ankle picks and shit. He's trying to do takedowns. He's not doing well, but he's trying to look like a real wrestler. Yeah, he's trying to crisp and wall this. He can't. Oh my. He's not. <laughs> yeah. There's no bow flex in sight. That's why. Man, this you can with cut that a little if you too. Want. <laughs> You're. Key. I'm gonna double it up. All right, do it. I'm riding the lightning. Yeah, you know, you know what? Double it, give it to the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, no, no. this went way too fucking long. Well, yeah. I think that's why Dave was so kind on it. it, it Dave has this pattern of matches. He loves have Finley. to go long. Yeah, and he loves Finley, and also, and you know, he loves the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> what, hold on a sec. Why the fuck are we talking about Dave so much? Fuck Dave Meltzer. Because Thank I have you. no one else. I have Thank no one you. else. Who am I going to go off of who does 2006 wrestling as like a, a reference point? <laughs> Adam Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, H. yeah. Let me call up Mike. Well, Mike, Mike H got H. deleted H. off the internet, I, I, unfortunately. Oh. I miss you. Got to find a way to contact. We, we still got Adam Blampede. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I'm going to go ahead and shillelagh that guy. <laughs> ah, oh. 
How about Adam Draw No Dimes Blampied? Yeah. You're done, right. pal. I will I'm gonna I'm gonna say we skip to the end of this match because we're we're dying in here. We are not <laughs> talking about this match. What Nobody do you want me to, to say about, about it? It's a Nothing. it's a Matt Hardy match. Well you know what here, here, you know what? Here's I'm some not highlights. Trying to goad you into it. I'm literally just trying to okay. get us through it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Trying to get us to the end here. I just yeah, got no, excited. We're trying to get the fuck out of here. I just got excited, man. All right, if I... you're excited, if you're excited, I'll match it. You can double it, give it to the next guy. Okay, yeah, we'll you double. Tell me it. about this match. I won't tell you about it. I'll tell you the ending. You know, the ref gets uh, fiddled by Regal constantly, and uh, Finley just smashes Gunner Scott in the head with a shillelagh and kills him. And that's over. Typical Irishman. Yeah, you know, it'd be like that. You're you're, you're missing a few and steps here. I'm not, and dude, it's over. Do you think you do you want to talk about Matt Hardy any longer? I want to talk about his nuts that got crushed. I by did the talk about bastard. that. I talked about that. Yeah, we did. We did talk about the nut crushing. Yeah, but after the match, Finley pulls oh, out yeah. the little bastard and throws him at Matt Hardy again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then he, then and then little bastard tries to kill Regal and Finley has to get him off him and then he picks mm. up little bastard and slams him on Gunner Scott. Gunner Scott probably didn't expect that. I don't know if they ran that through in the pre-match shit. He's like, I'm going to smash you with a uh, little bastard. So he's like, oh, shit. And then, uh, you know, he runs out of the ring. He's trying to go back with them. And Finley goes, nuh uh, and kicks him back under the ring. Just punts him back under. I fucking cracked up so hard. Little, little bastard and, was still holding the shillelagh. So he had to come back out from under the apron and give it to him. And then Finley swiped it from his hand and kicked him again. Yep. You know, upon, upon a little bit of reflection, I, I want to take a step back and say that this match is. Is like the passion of Matt Hardy. True. Is that so? He's just he's truly just getting the shit kicked out of him for no good reason through like ninety percent of this match. JBL uh JBL also uses this time to bring up how uh, Matt Hardy wanted to kill himself in two thousand and five. Yep. Because Which his girlfriend like... cheated on him with his friend. Who said that? JBL. What? Oh JBL also, also said that Matt Hardy was the Genetti of the Hardy. Yeah. And, and that, oh, that does, oh, I thought JPL was talking about himself. Oh. Damn, what the uh, fuck? That, that also takes us back to um, the beginning of this year where JBL and Matt Hardy were feuding. And, Matt, and JBL was essentially just telling Matt Hardy that he should he should uh, kill himself. I mean, that that is a pretty good gimmick. I'm not going to lie. Just tell Matt Hardy. I, got, I got something important to say, though. This is William Regal's first win of 2006. Wow. He's like That's one in. Huge. He's like one in eight or one in nine. Finally, this hey. man couldn't sniff a win until he teamed up with Finley. He doesn't need to. Paul Burchill was holding he... him back. Yeah. I would like to uh, half this match and give it to the last person. Okay. If possible. Yeah, let's do that. Half this match, give it to Raw, Raw Down. <laughs> yeah. Back Raw Down can finish this one off. Backstage, Theodore Long is here. Is there anything in between? Did I go too far? Yeah, you missed Booker T and Charmel. Well, yeah, there's... yelling at Teddy Long. Yeah, yeah. At, yeah Booker T and Queen but, Charmel are like we're heading out. Booker T and Charmel. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're yeah, making kissy they faces at each other. Yeah, they give each other a kiss as everybody watches. Ah, uh, baby. Ah, uh, baby. Edging. I'm heading like, out, we baby. See this. We want to see the show experience. But uh, Teddy Long walks in, of course, and ruining then, it. Well, no, no. Booker already got the shower. He said he smells good. He's like, baby, how do I smell, baby? And she's like, you smell good, Booker. And he's like, yeah. And then Teddy walks in and goes, hey, you hey, players. I, I smell like duck butter. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you smell like duck butter, player. And uh, he's like, up, up. Teddy, what do you want? And he's like, uh, you know, Bobby, Bobby's actually cleared to wrestle tonight. He's like, what? Oh, come on, Teddy, again? Our why is, why is Booker keep getting disrespected? He's now the king. I just want to state, you can't fact check me, but I fact checked your ass. And now he says, I was going to take a shower. Oh, oh, what the fuck, dude? Let me cook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, He's off his check. game. Ooh, ooh. h. The shower, shower gate is real, folks. The oh, shower my. has not yet happened. Do not believe his lies. Maybe, maybe I just I just wanted to think about it. I'm sorry. What what's wrong with that? Let me let me think about Booker showering. Sorry, yeah, guys. And then and then Dude, after this this dumb Booker T segment, we get back to the real show, which is the the return of uh, Batista. Again, another one. 
reminding us that in 21 days, three weeks time, we get Batista. Can't wait. Dave the Rock Batista is coming back, and I can't Whoa. wait for it. Huh? So true. So Ooh, true. Dave. The stone bam, 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 bam. Chavo Guerrero's here. Oh, God. Chavito. Um, <laughs> when have they ever mentioned that he retired? Uh, a... What do you fucking mean? I thought Wasn't he quit. I thought he quit. I thought wrong? he quit, not yeah. retired. No, he retired. I thought the whole time he said, I'm done with the WWE, I'm done wrestling. That yeah, he quit. He's done wrestling. Well, and I wrestling, thought he quit. He's retired. retired. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah, well, he didn't quit because he's been on the show. He retired. Well, he hasn't he's been on Raw. Backstreet. He came back to SmackDown. Everyone, why is he on SmackDown? Because yeah. he's a He retired player. from in ring okay. competition. Okay. Yeah. Well, dude, what is what is with Chavo in these oversized shirts? <laughs> I need I need to know where all my Chavo heads at who are clamoring for this return because I know you were out there at some point. My Chavito heads, where they a at? very select few were clamoring. I'm going to be honest. They're the ones who are paying for wrestling and server newsletters. Oh, that is so true. <laughs> only Chavito fans would pay for Not the only that, server newsletter. Michael Cole says, Chavo, listen, the fans want you back. And Chavo looks down. He's like, I don't, I don't no, know. And then he's like, I got the WWE.com polls here. And it was, what was it, like 70% or was it 83% or something like that? It was like 70 yeah, they, or. Seventeen percent are no. like, "Hey man, fuck off!" <laughs> no, don't come back. I left somewhere. <laughs> no. I, I feel like that's rigged. There's no who, fucking way. Who, no, who, who want me? <laughs> no. I was about to say, "Who want me?" It, it was okay. Out of a total of two hundred and twenty-five thousand votes, it was seventy-nine uh, percent come back, twenty-one percent okay stay retired. That's crazy that's though. Crazy. 21% said, we don't want you back, Chavo. <laughs> Do you guys used to vote in these polls? No. Uh, yes. Uh, no. Yes. I did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Is there anything you voted for that came to fruition? Yeah, it was uh, that you Kane, recall? Kane getting unmasked. Ooh. Yeah, I remember voting yes on that one. That's crazy. That was part of like like whatever Cyber Sunday was or whatever. Whatever the hey. fuck that was. Yeah, it's Cyber Sunday this year. Taboo Tuesday was old news. Now it's oh Cyber Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yippee. But yeah, that's the one I have a distinct memory of. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, it's okay. guys. It doesn't matter because yeah. the Archon hmm. of, of Water Demons. The Water Elemental. Is here. <laughs> and I got to say, his uh, his dick was moving penisly tonight. <laughs> it always does, dude. Look, I just want to say, uh, the because you know, I like it hasn't been released yet, or maybe it has, but I heard that first episode of ECW, and they're all going, "Oh, this dust effect is cool." No, it's fucking stale. It's dog shit. The water yeah. effect of Mark Henry—that's the that's, real shit. That's True. so cracked, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it that, was. The, the water elemental moment a couple of weeks ago, and now this. He's just mm-hmm. coming out so strong, leaking yeah. everywhere. Like, he cannot be controlled. He cannot be contained. Dude, he is just always it's like, soaking. You got him, and then, like, you got Ahmed Johnson in the Royal Rumble back in the day, both looking completely wet. Yeah. And, like, when he hits things, man, like, that impact is so fucking... Editor, like, editor, uh, tie and thumbnail, Joe. I need you to put it, throw up a picture of Ahmed Johnson in the Royal Rumble. Oh my, that's just a pool of water. I know, but you need to show the people. You're they're they're looking. We're reacting to it. Good. Uh, Sheepy. man, this show sucked. I thought it was all right. Yeah, it did. No. But wait, we're not even done with the segment because yeah, Mark Henry kills him. Mark Henry fucking killed Chavo. Why? Dead. And he's telling him about how he ruined Chris Benoit. Chavo's like, what the fuck, man? What did I do? Why do you say fuck me for? Yeah, I, I'm i not going to lie. I don't really get what Mark Henry was trying to do here. Yeah, when he comes out, it just sounds like he's referencing a bunch of things that are going to happen or have happened. And I don't know why he's talking to Chavo about it. Because he's just like, and Batista's going to come back. And it's going to be a big mistake because I'm going to hurt him. 
And then Chavo is just looking at him like, okay. <laughs> like, all right. what's that to do with me, it's, bro? <laughs> it's, it's all a big through line here because a lot of the Batista promos were him declaring he was going to win back what he never lost because he had to relinquish the World Heavyweight Championship. Mark Henry okay. says, uh, the best decision you ever made was was retiring because if you unretired, that would be the worst decision. Just like Batista coming back, that would be bad for him to come back. Yep. I'm going to destroy him like I destroyed him before. Chris Benoit, I destroyed him. He's on sabbatical. That's an excuse because yep. I embarrassed him. Yeah, and, and, like that... and your boy, and your boy, Eddie Guerrero's friend, oh, is my. ducking me. The little guy. Yeah. Which I, I then, guess that's what this is about. And then at that moment, Chavo starts like squaring up a little bit, getting antsy about it. And then he's like, he's like, "What are you? Are you? Are you? Are you stepping to me?" And then you just hear JBL in the background. He goes, "He goes machismo." That's that he did not say machismo. I You're swear lying. To God, he did. No, he did. He said yeah. bad move, machismo. <laughs> Oh my god. Very lightly you hear about machismo. Yeah, the the whole line was bad move machismo. Yeah. I'm putting myself in the head exploding machine. Oh man. <laughs> there he goes. There, and then he, the just, explosion. he just hits Chavo with the beat down. Two world's strongest slams. He throws him out of the ring and gives him another world's strongest slam after ripping off his seventeen XL button up. <laughs> he got that at Coles this week. <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll say I never uh, yeah no that oversized shirt no that was the most baby face thing Mark Henry could have done for him bad fashion's no good yeah he, he's, he freed him to be honest yeah I will say I never got to see Mark Henry be taken seriously so it is kind of nice to see him as like this like fucking a threat. unstoppable yeah like a threat yeah. Because he's actually really good at it. Man, I, I loved that last run, the Hall of Pain. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I they had even... some real juice. They should have finished by pulling the trigger on it. They should have. Yeah. It's a damn shame that they just relegated him to a, a very short World Heavyweight Championship. It was, yeah. a really, it was a really odd move, but it was better than nothing. Of course, this is according to Visions from the Moon Mother, who, who grants us uh, Vision Spirit oh, good, good. Visions of, it, from the future. It, it... Joe, can you do me a favor real quick? Mm -hmm. Could you describe the Moon Mother to me? Uh, you're just going to have to go out in the middle of the street uh, naked at 3 a.m. after smoking the, the earth herb. Okay. And uh, peer into the, the spirit void for yourself. All right. Um, I'll report back on this next episode. And, and viewers, if you're listening, you should do the same and let us know what you see. Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell you because I've already done it. Okay. Oh my. I need to know what your your visual calculus is so you can tell me what you see if it matches what I see. Hmm. Nico, tell me about this backstage, dude. <laughs> a wooga. A wooga. So my god, my god. This what are we was... doing here? Yeah, this. <laughs> Kind of what I was thinking watching this segment. So, Ashley's walking up, you know, doing her own thing or whatever, and Michelle McCool interrupts her. And, man, she was like, oh my god, you were just happy being around the Miz? Lame. And, a, I guess it's okay you won that bikini contest, because, like, you know, but you wouldn't have won if I did it. I mean, look at my body, and I don't yeah. know what to say about that. I'm we have like a, she she's does the teacher reference. She's like a plus body again, same thing as before, yep. and then oh, Ashley she... calls it out, and we go to uh, we have a moment where she calls her like trailer trash or something, and ta she says that leather outfit is tacky. Yeah, there you go. And I don't know, guys. I like we all watch this. Was it tacky? No. I didn't think it was tacky. No. So, you know, she's just being a, you know, traditional teacher and all. And, of course, the baby face is like, I'm proud to show my body off to a bunch of strangers. Yep. We have a lot of body positivity happening here. This, this is, is pre-OnlyFans pre era, so it's quite impressive. It is. It is. I mean... We're going to get more of this with Kelly on Tuesday nights. 
So, you know, Ashley's like, hey, why don't we go to the locker room? You get yours. I'll get my tacky outfit, trashy outfit. And we can go do a impromptu bikini contest. What do you say? And Michelle McCool just looks at her like, you dumb little fuck. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing that. You're fucking dumb. Yep. And it's your moment. And then All right, boys. Ashley Masao <laughs> just said, you should stop talking down to people like you're teaching a class. And that just pissed the fuck out of Michelle McCool. She took her glasses off and she walked off. And you mm. know what? I saw Michelle McCool. I'm like, man, you know what? She is looking respectfully very nice in this episode. I'd love yeah. to see her in a dress. You know, maybe a and blue then, dress. Something and you know, light blue. Yeah, and then you know what? What? We see an even better blue dress. We do. Because it's Big Vito time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Don't lie. You don't like Big Vito. Oh, I love Vito, dude. I love I Vito. Say, he looks so nonplussed about this. Yeah. He looks so mad coming to the ring. Wait, like, he's not happy didn't at all, dude. Did, Are you did, kidding me? Didn't they show the little like vignette of him uh, working out? In well, the first dress? they show him walking down, and then they show okay. as he's walking down, they show the vignette. And yeah, my God, what? A, <laughs> do you want to talk about the vignette? Yes, because he's just sitting there like working out, and everyone's just looking at him. And you know what? It's kind of impressive, right? So they have like this, like you're like, oh, it's in bad taste. He's wearing a dress. Like they're all making fun of him. But that's the culture of the time making fun of him because he's doing nothing like flamboyant or like stereotypical. He's just just wearing a dress. He's just wearing a dress and he's just pumping iron. He says, I don't care. Like I, I just like wearing it. And everybody yeah, else, nobody, is the nobody like. I, I mean, I guess everybody just kind of like gives him looks. gave him like a confused look. But like the one guy he was talking to, who was doing like the uh, setups, uh, crunch ups on the thing, like was like pretty cordial with him. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, what I, and that and yeah, and then he gave kind of like a real. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yeah. Which, you know, I think that's kind of a normal reaction. But nobody. I mean, if you're just like, glancing at him, it could look like a tank top for a moment. Yeah, exactly. Like, nobody was, like, looking at him like, Bro, why are you wearing a dress, dude? Ah! Yeah. Which, you know, it's like, yeah, it's still some of those looks are maybe not in taste of today, but... But, like, it, it's not really it, that it really, bad. It could have been it, way worse. It could have been, but it's, it's like they're trying to push this, like, this is the most embarrassing fucking thing ever. Yeah. Like, well, who would do this? And that's, that's why this... Why it comes off so bad? Because if you took that out, and Vito was like a, I thought he was a baby face, but they're really, I guess he's not he, anymore. He is though, because the crowd. Well, no, they 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 were uh putting him on commentary well, we gotta, like he was. We get we gotta we gotta but, just get to the match here, boys. Because we when we that, get into this match, I swear to God, this man is actually trying to harm this 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 fucking guy. He's in the ring with. No, <laughs> because this guy's name, like he's trying to kill him, bro. He's so pissed about being in this dress. It's crazy, dude. Hey, no, I'm with you. That's what I was building up to. Like, dude, he goes in there and he's murdering this man. It's like so brutal. It looks yeah. like he's he's just raining get blows on this guy like repeatedly. He's Fucking no. slapping the fuck out of this guy, and he looks so fucking pissed. It's crazy. Yeah, dude, he just beats the shit out of uh, William Regal's stunt double. It's Scott Wright. This, yeah, and he gets he gets any he tries to throw an offense. You watch the match, but Vito is just not selling it at all. Yeah, dude. He's like, if I'm wearing this dress, I'm gonna be a fucking god. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the most like intense performances all night. Vito is just fucking wailing on this man he really yeah. wants to prove that he's he's willing to go for it right now yeah and like dude i like if vito hits know. him with a deep at like education ddt uh ben and then finishes us out by getting alex right in a uh he's like alex seated Wright's and then vito that. like hunches over him i was thinking alex right too yeah well yeah. No, it's Alex Wright's uh, brother that doesn't. It's Scotty do. Charisma, dude. Come on. He was on and, a uh, show before. He puts, 
he puts Scotty Charisma in a uh, hammerlock submission, but in a position where his head would be under Vito's like dress. Uh, and he's like raking him. He's like jumping up and down, making the ring like like actually bounce. And the yeah. guy's like tapping, but Vito does not let go for a strong ten seconds. Yeah, and again, this is like not a babyface maneuver at all. Like, dude, he just goes in, and he kills these people. Like, I'm, I'm kind of glad they're pushing him as a babyface. You know, that, that that's kind of nice because this this would be horrendous if this was a heel gimmick. But like. Dude, it's like straight up wrestling, like a killer heel. Yep. It, it is bizarre. It's, uh, it was definitely like I said. He's, he's saying, I gotta be wearing this dress. I'm gonna move like I got something to prove. Cause he's, he's just trying to, he's trying to make a name for himself here. I like, I like the his finisher too. That like swinging neck break or not neck breaker, swinging DDT. It's really cool. Yeah. No, like, I kind of feel bad that got Vito, like, kind of in this, like, low mid-card bad Yeah, from what spot. we've seen from him, he's just been doing, like, tag matches with Nunzio or uh, being on Velocity in the big suit. That's yeah, pretty much it. He, he's got some talent, man. I mean, honestly, like, he didn't, like, do, like, a lot, but he didn't have to. He, like, shit was kind of intense. Looked good. Good finish. It was really that was probably the most interesting thing I've seen all night, and I gotta be real like that. That was that was it. Like that that captured my attention more than anything else in the show. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they didn't choose to capitalize on the 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 New Jersey Italian, basically because Sopranos is in its like windfall here, Mm -hmm. fight with the final season. Why didn't they just do it? I know the problem is that Vito is naturally funny, uh, and could probably get over without. Uh, the head booker, whoever that may be, uh, saying, hey, let's put him in a dress. Wouldn't it be funny if he did a submission where the guy's head was under his dress? It means his balls would be touching his head, right? That'd be, that'd be so G-A-Y, bro. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. But now it's time for the main event. It's a event, rematch of event, earlier. Event, event. We got King Booker versus Bobby Lashley. and One-legged Lashley. I like this match, but also, again, I'm going to say psychology. The worst word ever. Right, guys? Right? No. Please? Dude, we hate psychology. That, that is literally my entire position on the show. I'm uh, a psychology guy. Bobby came out with a bandaged knee. I don't know why he, his knee is hurting, because his leg or his thigh was the one that got hit. And well, he's, he's got the thigh and the wrap yeah, as well, and he's limping. He's limping. Why don't you, why don't you just play in the space, bro? Enjoy play the kayfabe. Play in the space, huh? Wrong with you, yeah. No, all right. Uh, all right. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. He's no, limping. He's no, limping. No, he can't. He can't walk. And so they decide, let's have a 16 minute match. He couldn't. He couldn't get out to the ring. He's having a tough time getting around. But ah, let's do it. We're gonna go long. We're gonna have a lot of rest holds. We're gonna have a lot of, uh, you know, just moves at their moves, and I, th- I, you know what, I kind of enjoyed it because the ending was very exciting. I don't know. He's so tough, bro. He's so tough. He's so tough. I thought I it was, it was it, a good I'm... narrative, right? I just uh, the match did go too long for me. Yeah, that's really yeah. my my complaint. It felt like it should have been a five to ten minute match. You could have told the same story with a little bit less time in it. I just felt the injury angle didn't really matter because it's went longer than their. King of the Ring match at the pay-per-view. It went longer than their match last week. The, the injury angle, as usual, sort of like nowadays, has transitioned out of, oh, he can't do his moveset at all at, or get ready for it because he's injured. Whereas nowadays, it's sort of like, oh, I can still attempt my moves. I just won't be doing it at full effectiveness. At full effect, or I won't be able to like get it out as quickly, yep. you know, which gives the opponent time to you know get their shit Outer. in. I, I will say, because I didn't really think Bobby Lashley is like a big seller. He was actually doing a pretty decent job selling that knee. Like oh, he was great. Yeah, like for example, when he did a suplex, like you could tell he was putting more force on the one leg over the other, or like when he's like bounding up, like he, both offense and defense. Because there's a lot of guys, and this is like a modern day issue. They have an injury angle, and then they just they, it to sell. Yeah. They just, like, or 
they'll like sell for like a while and they'll do the big comeback and then it's, it's like, just like it's like yoda in fucking the star wars episode three yeah exactly and it's like fuck it's fighting man. spirit dude wow dude yeah it's like dude look, thank you I mean, antonio noki <laughs> like look if you can't stand on your fucking leg but for your comeback all of a sudden your leg feels fine i mean Every yeah. time that's ever happened in the history of wrestling, it's the spirit of Antonio Noki possessing someone. Yeah. Does main event Joe have the notes this week? Bro, main event Joe is in fucking Aruba tonight. Oh, is that Allegro Joe that we got? That's my bad. No, we got Erotic Joe. Oh, my oh. God. Erotic Joe. Erotic okay, Nico, there we go. Yeah, because... Beat. Yeah, early in the match, uh, JBL says that Bobby Lashley, uh, uh, or rather King Booker, will make Bobby Lashley, quote, kiss his black booty goodbye. Wow. I don't know why JBL chose to say that. Uh, uh, and that was, your, that was your visitation from Erotic Joe. Nice. Very sexual. Tonight you got Joe Exotic. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, I don't put that on me. <laughs> I I like this match, but I wish it was a little shorter. That's all. That, that yeah. wait, hold on a sec. That is the same thing we said about this match last time. I know. Yeah, Did, well, Bobby Lashley. We and, had this match a lot. Booker T and or King Booker keep going for fifteen to seventeen minutes. This is like the fourth time they've had a match. It, it's because this is your main event. Like again, he's a world champion. He's got <laughs> big. <laughs> He got the big fucking injury angle. He, he He's coming out here. He's wrestling Booker T in a 16-minute match in the main event. And it's like, you could tell, like, fucking Vince is like, I just want to get this fucking belt off this fucking vanilla. I hate this shit. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I mean, look, that's not Nico's to... words. That's 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 actually I, Vince's uh, words. Yeah, we should clarify. That, yeah, we, we have to clarify. These are Vince McMahon words. Uh, we'll censor that, though, Editor Ty. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Be yeah. respectful. Yeah, these are fucking just, yeah. And fucking, you know what? And Bobby gets the big win. He holds up his title. <laughs> JBL is standing up in his astonishment. <laughs> he looks so confused. And he's doing like the Spinner Rooney pose, but like in complete shock, like shaking his head, like, what just happened? Yeah, because it just kind of came out of nowhere. But here, let yeah. me let me go through it a little bit. Right. Uh, yeah, Booker tried his bookend. Not going to happen. He tries his sidekick. Not going to happen. You're trying uh, anything else to Lashley? It's not going to happen because Bobby is too strong for Booker. I'm sorry. I got to say it. Why didn't they give him the king of the ring? He's just too well, strong. Because they were going to give him the title. And He's just too title's strong. better than king of the ring. Yeah. Well. King of the ring on a baby face. Never Lashley, Lashley with honestly, his broken knee. Hold on. And Lashley with his broken knee and dying in the ring. Gets the power 16 minutes in to pick up Booker and hit him with a really nasty power slam and gets the win. Wow. Yeah. And besides, like, my other thing would be, like, why would you want to rob the world of King Booker? This You're right. is probably the best King of the Ring of all time. I, I can't think of a better one. Best person to take over the King gimmick, no doubt. Yeah. Like, it, it, this is like the best, more modern rendition of the, like, of a good King of the Ring gimmick, is King Booker. Like, there's, there's nobody better. Like, now it's more just to set up the SummerSlam match, which I think is fine. But like, if, if you're gonna do this gimmick, I mean, you know, like, look, I, I know the guys on Raw down really loved King Baron. That <laughs> shit sucked. <laughs> oh God. We smack up us. Right here, right now, got the greatest King of the Ring of all time. And, like, Bobby's got the U.S. title, so they both got, like, accomplishments. So, Bobby Lashley didn't really need to win the King of the Ring. Okay. You know, I think this U.S. title, at least right now, is more important. It's definitely more important than the Intercontinental title at this point. Absolutely. You know what the funniest part about this was? After Bobby won and he's celebrating, they're going through, like, all the replays. The next time we see Booker... 
he's sitting up in the ring yelling at Bobby, and he's got his crown on. They put his crown on <laughs> during everything. So, like, he's like, he's dead. He got pinned, and the next time we see him, he's just crowned up. Yeah. Dude, he is. He's all in. He's all in. He he is seriously the best. And my only regret is at... No, I won't talk about that. There, there's another place to talk about that, but... No, Brooker is the best. Like, this was... It was a good main event. I, wish I liked I, it. Yeah. It might have been, but the rest of the show tired me out so bad. Yes. The match was too long, and I, I, I watched it. I didn't remember half of it. I had to re watch some segments just to hey man, get an idea. It'd be like that sometimes. When, uh, when I was finished watching the show, I was like, wait, did Gunnar Scott just win? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's the, thought. That's the first thought that went through my mind. It's okay. He didn't. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah, he didn't. It- so, so that just we, tells me we, I, I was wrong about absolutely everything. So we can like end smack up if he wins, right? Yep. The the show's over if Gunnar Scott wins another match. Oh god. I'm, I'm okay with. Uh, oh, let no. me look at my notes. Uh, oh no. Oh goodness. Any any other big statements here? We got anything else to say right dude, now, dude? Yeah, as the I episode Green, putters out. Green Shaw. Go on, <laughs> go on, dude. Green Shaw is amazing. Like her so face. Her facials during this match, and like, there's this one point where she's just putting like her hands on her ears, just going like, "What? What was? I don't know." She's just so emotive. Like, nah, she's great. Like, I gotta give gotta give props to the queen herself. Yeah, Joe, give me top five SmackDown wrestlers right now. Go. Uh, Bobby. Okay. Cricket Cali. He beat up Undertaker. I don't have to see Undertaker anymore. Okay. <laughs> uh, Batista, because he will be coming back. And with bated breath, I'll be waiting. Okay. <laughs> um, I gotta say, when uh, Chavo Guerrero's uncle's friend really uh-huh. locks in, he can have a good match. So I'll say that Vito. guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, Crystal Marshall, she had a match that one time. All right, that's your five. We did it. And you've been smacked up. You've been smacked up. Smacked up on some heroin, yeah. 